Hello, I'm Shinzo Abe, Prime Minister of Japan. This year will be as eventful as ever for Japan. In June, I'm going to invite dozens of leaders from across Africa over to Yokohama. Come December, I'll be hosting all the leaders from the ASEAN nations in Tokyo. Economic development is rewriting African history anew. Democracy is on the wax among the ASEAN nations. For us to see those historic chapters clearly and for us to have them in a wiser way tonight, you have Professor Muhammad Yunus and other truly distinguished speakers. You also have Misha, whose silky yet powerful voice has never failed to shake my soul. She is now touching African heart as an honorary ambassador of my government. Yes, tonight I do have put together some of the best Japanese food and sake. But the best dish for tonight is what the speakers have to say. If only I were with you. Now, Japanese voters put me back again as their prime minister. I would imagine that you are rather sick of Japanese politics where leaders come and go almost as an annual event. But it is Japanese voters who feel even more tired because they are the proud people who have kept Japan's social fabric intact despite the hardship they have had to endure over the last two years. Because they are the people who know that they can do much to boost the economy to help bring in knowledge to Africa and to improve the state of the world, to cite what Professor Schwab always says. My task is pure and simple. It is to free the untapped resources of the Japanese people to help them accomplish all that. I know the clock is ticking in many respects in Japan. Big debt and aging population to cite only two. I must stand tall. I must dodge, not bullet, but bite it. Japan must stay strong. The Japanese must regain confidence. I will burn all my energy for those goals. Finally, let me make a promise that I am not easily fading away. I have made a comeback to just do it. I promise that I will come back to speak with you again next year and beyond. Thank you and bon appetit.